A group of Ivy League students is asking a federal court to force fraternities to accept women as members. Three women are suing Yale University and nine of its fraternities. They accuse them of allowing dangerous environments in which sexual misconduct thrived. Meg Oliver asked the women why they wanted to join the fraternities in an interview you'll see first on CBS This Morning. She's near Yale's campus in New Haven, Connecticut. Meg, good morning. Good morning. The three women we spoke with are hoping their lawsuit leads to change. They say fraternities here dominate a limited social scene around campus, one that needs to be wiped clean of sexual harassment and gender discrimination. Raise your hand if you've ever been sexually assaulted at a fraternity party. All of you. Anna McNeil, Ellie Singer, and Rye Walker say they've had enough of inappropriate behavior by men at Yale fraternity parties. Someone came up from behind me and started grinding on me and then actually pulled up my skirt. I was groped from behind. Um, a lot of people were grinding against me from behind. I couldn't see them. In a lawsuit, they allege female undergraduates risk sexual harassment and assault by attending fraternity events. They say men deny female students admission based on their appearance, verbally harass them, grind against them, grab them, and grope them. Why do you want to be part of a culture that you're alleging promotes sexual misconduct? A fraternity party wasn't any of our first choice, but it was kind of the only choice for the first couple of months at school. It speaks to the way that fraternities dominate the social culture at Yale. Those are the places that are open late at night, and those are spaces that some of our friends are hosting parties in, you know. Fraternities offer a vast network of privileges to their members. They offer connections, they offer help networking. Some people might argue sororities do the same thing. Sororities don't tend to have nearly the same connections as fraternities. Fraternities often have people, I think, in higher positions of power, and certainly on campus, they, off, they occupy a much higher social space. Their lawsuit against Yale in nine fraternities argues separate but equal Greek life reinforces gender norms, stereotypes, and prejudices. They're seeking class action status, asking the court to award damages, and to order policy changes, including fully integrating women at Yale's fraternities. The case is enormously complicated. CBS News legal, legal analyst Ricky Kleeman says she's yeah. confused by what she sees as the lawsuit's contradictory goals. If I am someone who goes into a party at the only place available for me to socialize, which is a fraternity, and I'm being groped and sexually assaulted and in an environment that I think is unsafe, why do I want to join the fraternity? Why don't I want the fraternity banned? I think I speak for all of us when I say that banning fraternities isn't counter to our objectives. Um, we're adopting the kind of gender integration model because we think it's one um, that's you know more feasible, that's worked similarly um, in other contexts in the past. The women are part of a group which has repeatedly filed complaints asking Yale to regulate fraternities. David Tracy is their lawyer. Yale's response has been deliberately indifferent. Yale has known about the problem of fraternity-related discrimination and sexual misconduct for at least a decade. Pledges of one fraternity allegedly posed for a photo outside the Yale Women's Center with a sign reading, We Love Yale Sluts. Another fraternity was banned after pledges reportedly paraded around chanting, No means yes. A third fraternity faced allegations of turning away women of color because they wanted white girls only. What's the optimal outcome of this lawsuit? I think, to put it simply, we just want a paradigm shift. Right now, students are forced to make a choice between having a social life and not feeling safe at parties or feeling safe but barely being able to go out at all. We want Yale to take decisive action to make that change so people no longer are forced to make that choice. In a statement, Yale told us they have no comment on this lawsuit, but that all students are subject to discipline for sexual misconduct. Now, the lawyer representing all of the fraternities told us the claims in this lawsuit are baseless and unfounded, and they look forward to vigorously defending this action in court. The case focuses on fraternities here at Yale, but no doubt other schools will be watching. Gail? I'll say it started an interesting conversation. Thank you, Meg.